In Antrim County, ballots were counted for Democrats that were meant for Republicans, causing a 6,000 vote swing against our candidates. The county clerk came forward and said, tabulating software glitched and caused a miscalculation of the vote. Since then, we have now discovered that 47 counties use this same software in the same capacity. Antrim County had to hand count all of the ballots, and these counties that use this software need to closely examine their results for similar discrepancies. How is Michigan, the same critical battleground state that decided to board up the windows in one of its polling locations, uh, which the law specifically says the public has a right to watch, so nobody could observe the process. In Pennsylvania, chaos continues to unfold, particularly surrounding the topic of mail-in ballots. According to state officials, ballots without a postmark are, quote, presumed to have been mailed by election day. Are we really just supposed to sit back and trust the level of oversight in a state that could be decided by a razor-thin margin? Sadly, that is what the Democrats and the media wanted. In fact, look at this. On September 23rd, House Republicans they actually issued a warning about the very issue in a report entitled How Democrats Are Attempting to Sow Uncertainty, Inaccuracy, and Delay in the 2020 Election. According to the findings in September, Democrats are seeking to change state election laws and procedures at the last minute to advantage themselves in the 2020 election cycle. These late changes will only increase the likelihood for potential election-related crime and errors and put at risk the integrity of the nation's electoral process. The report went on to detail how widespread mail-in ballots cause very serious issues surrounding election integrity because of inaccurate voter rolls, ballot harvesting, and because of concerns surrounding an increased reliance on the Postal Service. Now, naturally, even before the 2020 presidential election, we experienced numerous issues with mail-in voting, including problems in statewide races in Michigan, Pennsylvania, New York, Wisconsin. Look at your screen. Time and time again, ballots cause real big problems. And of course, it's only one more example why election oversight, verification, and true faith and fidelity to a fair process is critical for everybody. To that end, every single state has laws on the books that allow poll watchers from both parties to observe all of the vote counting process. According to a summary, for example, the law in Pennsylvania, partisan observers may observe at polling locations and may still, until the time that the counting of the votes is complete. Partisan observers may stay until the voting of the counting of the vote is complete. Now let's take a look at how poll watchers were actually treated across the country. You ask yourself, was that law broken? Take a look. An official came out uh, who was kind of in access to signed documents and a few moments later we were asked to leave. Well, I find it ironic we were asked to leave within 10 to 12 minutes when they said we had an hour and a half of counting left to do. We're further away than I am from you all here, um, hundreds, uh, at least 100 feet away from open ballots that go back out of our sight. We can't see them. We don't know what's happening to them. Um, it's just, uh, there's no way for us to meaningfully observe the process. They have refused to let us leave. 